So uh, there's the GNA and the GNC that are, are competing to be the new government for Libya at the time. Then there's Haftar and the Libyan National Army out east. He's getting ready to be the guy, uh, the next whatever he wanted to call himself, uh, king or whatever of Libya, <laughs> uh, take Gaddafi's spot. Um, then the GNC, GN, GNA, um, all the militias fighting for control of their turfs. Um, that was a mess. And just to get across town, to get through militias, from one militia to another, Damn. Uh, it was a nightmare. Um, yeah. <laughs> A lot of a lot of guns being pointed at people. A lot of fire, you know, warning shots, right? But they're but you know, it doesn't matter if you get hit with a warning shot; it's gonna hurt just the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it was a mess. Uh, funny thing happens always in bad times, though. We're at a meeting. We take the chief to a meeting. It's at a restaurant downtown. It's at a cool place in downtown. Very scenic. Um, the Marcus Aurelius Arc is a restaurant right near it. Very cool place to hang out. No but, shit. Yeah. Uh, so I go in with the chief. He goes to have his meeting. I go back out with my, the guy that I went with, the other GRS guy. We're having a conversation. I don't want to leave him out there by himself for too long because um, he's monitoring outside activity and let me know inside, hey, people are forming. Because there was a lot of that going on. A lot of just random fighting on the street. So he's monitoring that while I go inside, I come back outside, and uh, the, the, several things, funny things happen during this time where it's just wild west, right? Yeah. Everybody's got guns and they're shooting just randomly. Um, so he goes to this meeting, and I come back out to talk with uh, my guy out front, and um, somebody behind me, about 20 feet maybe, Start shooting a gun, and it's a pistol. It's not an AK or anything. It's some sort of pistol, and it's one of those drills that you have, right? They spin around, spin around, and start going to town, right? So, as my back was to the shooter, I spin around. I'm going for my gun, and I see that this guy is facing down the street, and he's just shooting his pistol to clear the street because he doesn't want these people near him on the street. So he's shooting his gun like he's yelling at him, "Get out of the way." So I was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and the guy that's with me, he's doing, so we're, as he's, he has to get over to the side a little bit. So he's in line with the shooter and not me, offline with me. So he's doing the same thing, going over to the side. You know, he's getting ready to go shoot this, burn this guy down. And I'm spinning around like it's a, you know, that, that drill on the range. Um, and then it ends up to be this guy's just cranking off rounds to clear the streets. So I was like, okay, all right, that's whatever. Okay, don't. And you know, I'm looking around like nobody saw us going for our guns. Like I wish, you know, we still kind of not blending in, but we yeah. don't, we didn't show our hand, right? And um, too much. And uh, it's like I gotta tuck the gun back away, <laughs> and let's get back to business. Another one was a El Prez, you know, El Prez drill. Oh yeah. Um, we get to another spot. And we get hemmed up at a checkpoint, and they start calling, hey, I, I, I can't make this decision. I can't make this decision. i got to call my boss, the Libyan, the militia guy that's there. All right, call him. He calls one guy. I, I can't make the decision. Uh, i got to call my boss. All right, call your boss. Well, I get out of the car. I told everybody, hey, stay in, or the, the ops guy that we had. I stay in the car, and the other GS guy, driver, I said, I'm going to go to the trunk of the car, uh, the front of the car, put out a map, Explain to him what we wanted to do, and I'm going to face you. You face this way. You watch my back. I'll watch back behind the vehicle. And if you see something with your hands, just point in a direction, right? Two that way, three that way, whatever. So I know which direction they're starting to mass because they're just curious always. But just so I know where everybody's at without me having to look around constantly, right? I did the same thing for him. And there was a gun truck with a dishka sitting right there. So that was like the end all be all, but nobody was on it. Uh, so it was going to take him some time to get up there. So we had a little bit of time to, you know, to work with. Um, and at one point I have a guy with a shotgun, this young kid, 
he's 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 wired for sound. He's ready to just he's ready. Oh, who's this? You know, we gotta get we gotta get it on right. So he was my he was my most concerned. Like he was on my thoughts the most. It's like, damn, this guy's just gonna go half cock in a minute and start <laughs> shooting. Um, so I was like, okay. So my hands are on the hood, and I'm thinking, uh, and, and I'm getting these signals like like two right behind you, right? So I you know look behind me. There's two guys there, and they're with their AKs and. They're posturing, you know, to intimidate us. And I was like, okay, so guy with the shotgun, two guys with the AK behind me. I was like, oh, I got this. This is like the El Prez drill. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and the the guy, uh, the ops guy we had in the car, um, I get on the radio and I was like, hey, this is going to be um, the, I don't know, the, the first live fire El Prez drill. I was like, <laughs> That's like, what you said. Yeah, I was like, I got this. This is gonna be like, this is gonna be the coolest story ever. <laughs> They're gonna yeah. have to rename the drill. <laughs> and uh, th you know, a couple of chuckles inside the vehicle. And um, it, it, you know, and the end of the story though, that it, it worked out. I didn't have to shoot anybody. Um, but the dude with the shotgun, that's that was in my mind. If if anybody raised a gun, you know, that was gonna be my thing. El Prez is on it, like beep. <laughs> Yeah, hands off the drill and then start going to town, right? Um, and we joke about that even today uh, about me almost getting an opportunity to do a live fire El Press drill. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.